Hi friends, it's Miss Cage here, and I am so excited to be with you guys today. Today is the last day of one of my favorite series called Life of the Party, where we are learning about the life of the party, which is Jesus himself. Hey, I need some help figuring out which clues go with our Bible story today. So let's see, our story today is one of my favorites. Boys and girls, I'm going to need your help choosing which clue goes with our story. Let's see if we can figure it out together. Okay friends, our story today takes place during a really big party. Which of these clues look like something you would have at a big party? Is it clue number one, a balloon? Or is it clue number two, Lego blocks? A balloon, that's right. I love having balloons at a party. Let's find our next clue. It has something to do with animals. Is it clue number one, a bed? Or is it clue number two, a donkey? Great job, friends, it's a donkey. Okay, boys and girls, our last clue has to do with some kind of plant. Is it clue number one, a palm branch? Or is it clue number two, a car? It's clue number one. Awesome job, friends. Thank you so much for your help finding our clues. I think we're ready to learn about our Bible story today. But wait, I think our friend Melman is getting ready to throw one of his biggest parties ever. Let's head over to Melman's and share today's Bible story with him before his big party. It's a party, everyone's oh. invited. Hey, Melman. Melman, don't you know my name is the party animal? Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Okay, party animal, do you want to hear a Bible story before your big party today? I would love to. What story is it? Tell me, tell me now. It's the story of Jesus' triumphal entry. Oh my goodness! Miss Cage, this is one of my favorite stories because there's a huge party just for Jesus. That's right, Melman, but let's not skip to the end of the story. So while Jesus was on earth, he taught the people about God's love and performed many miracles, like raising people from the dead. You raise me up so I can stand Okay, on. okay, Melman. Let's continue with our story. The Jewish people of Jerusalem were celebrating a festival called Passover, and Jesus wanted to go to Jerusalem to celebrate with them. Celebrate good times. Come on. Come on, Miss Cage. You can party harder than that. That's right, Melman. Then Jesus told two of his disciples to start going to Jerusalem without him and to bring him a donkey that no one has ever ridden before. Wait, a donkey? Like an animal that goes hee-haw, hee-haw. Um, yes, something like that. Anyways, when the people of Jerusalem heard he was coming into town, they were so excited because they had heard about all of the amazing things he's done. They were so excited they cut palm branches and ran to see him. I'm so excited, da, 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 not just can't hide it. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay. When the people got to where Jesus was entering, they laid down their coats on the roads in front of him, and Jesus' followers began to shout and sing as they followed behind him, praising God for all of the amazing miracles they've seen. Well, wow, Miss Cage, it sounds like everyone was so happy and having fun celebrating Jesus and throwing him the biggest party ever! That's right, Melman. They were so excited to be celebrating Jesus. Melman, that actually reminds me of our big idea today. Jesus is fun to celebrate. Friends, can you say that with me? Jesus. Jesus. Is fun. Is fun. To celebrate. To celebrate! Great job, boys and girls. Melman, I mean party animal. Thank you so much for bringing all of the fun today. Are you ready to throw your biggest party yet today? I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Da, 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 not just um, can't. Okay, bye, Melman. Friends, 
I had so much fun learning about the life of the party, Jesus. Until next time, friends, I'll see you next time. Bye. Miss Cage, it's time to celebrate Jesus. I'm coming, I'm coming.